The superconducting supercollider was first proposed in the 1980s as a way to advance particle physics research in the United States. The project was designed to be a 54-mile ring-shaped tunnel located in Waxahachie, Texas, and was intended to be the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world. The SSC would have been capable of accelerating protons to energies of 20 TV, far surpassing the capabilities of existing particle accelerators. Things, however, did not go as planned. Welcome to Amazing Projects. In today's video, we're going to talk about the SSC, a proposed particle accelerator that was intended to be built in the United States in the 1980s and 1990s. The SSC was a massive project that was designed to be the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, with the capacity to accelerate protons to energies of 20 TV. However, despite its ambitious goals and significant investment, the SSC ultimately failed to materialize. In this video, we'll explore the history of the SSC, its design, construction, and ultimate demise. Construction of the SSC began in the late 1980s, with billions of dollars in funding allocated for the project. However, the project soon ran into a number of problems. One major issue was cost overruns. The SSC was an incredibly expensive project, with an estimated cost of over $10 billion. As construction progressed, the actual cost of the project continued to rise, leading to concerns about its viability. In addition to cost overruns, the SSC also faced opposition from a variety of political and social groups. Some critics argued that the project was a waste of taxpayer money and that the funds could be better spent on other priorities, such as education or healthcare. Others raised concerns about the environmental impact of the project, as the construction of the SSC required the excavation of a massive tunnel. Another issue that the SSC faced was its management. The project was managed by the Department of Energy, which had a reputation for mismanagement and cost overruns. In fact, the DOE had already faced criticism for similar issues with the construction of other large-scale projects, such as the Alaska Pipeline and the Clinch River Breeder Reactor. Despite these challenges, construction of the SSC continued throughout the 1990s. By the mid-1990s, the project had completed around 22 miles of tunnel and had begun to receive the first of its magnets. However, as the project progressed, it became increasingly clear that the SSC was in trouble. In 1993, Congress began to question the viability of the SSC and funding for the project was cut. This was a significant blow to the project as it had already received billions of dollars in funding and had been under construction for nearly a decade. In the years that followed, attempts were made to revive the project, but these efforts ultimately failed. The demise of the SSC was a significant blow to the field of particle physics research in the United States. The SSC was intended to be a major research facility that would enable scientists to study the nature of matter and the origins of the universe. Its failure meant that the United States fell behind other countries in this field, such as Europe and Japan. While the SSC was never completed, its legacy lives on in the field of particle physics, and its failure serves as a cautionary tale for the importance of careful planning and management when undertaking large-scale engineering projects. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating topics and amazing projects. Also, tell us in the comment section what topic you want us to cover next. See you in the next video.